What you are about to see is not just a simple camera update. It is much more than that. This is a declaration of war. For three years, the Nikon Z9 has sat on the throne. It has been the king of the professional mirrorless world. But the world of technology does not stand still. The landscape is shifting quickly. Sony and Canon are breathing down Nikon's neck. They are moving fast. They are releasing new gear. But Nikon has a secret weapon. They recently made a massive move. They bought Red Digital Cinema. This changed everything. Now, Nikon is preparing to drop a nuclear-grade flagship. It is called the Nikon Z9 Mark II. This camera will change how we view professional gear forever. It is the most anticipated release of 2026. Let us look back for a moment. The original Nikon Z9 was a huge risk. It was a bold move. It was the first flagship camera to completely remove the mechanical shutter. Many people in the industry thought this was insane. They thought it would never work. But then they actually held the camera. They saw the results. It did not just work. It dominated the market. It proved that Nikon was ready to lead. But in high-end tech, if you are not moving forward, you are standing still. You are falling behind. Nikon knows this. Rumors are coming straight from the heart of Japan. Supply chain leaks are starting to appear. They suggest that the Z9 Mark II is not just a slight improvement. It is not just an S model. It is a complete reimagining of what a hybrid powerhouse can be. The heart of any camera is the sensor. This is where the magic happens. The current sensor is a masterpiece. It has 45 megapixels. It is very fast. But the industry whispers are telling a new story. They say Nikon is testing two different paths for the new sensor. One path involves a staggering 61 megapixel stacked sensor. This would be a game changer. It would offer the kind of detail you usually only see in medium format cameras. But it would have the speed of a high-end sports camera. Think about what that means for a professional. Imagine you are at a high-speed football match. You are far away from the action. With 61 megapixels, you can crop in. You can see the sweat on a player's forehead from across the field. You still get professional sharpness. You do not lose any detail. But there is another feature people are talking about. It is being called the Sony Killer. This is the potential for a global shutter. Sony recently showed this technology in the A9 III. If Nikon puts a global shutter into a flagship with high resolution, the game is over. A global shutter changes everything. It means zero distortion. It means you can sync your flash at any speed. It means the readout is so fast that rolling shutter becomes a ghost story. It becomes something from the past that we no longer worry about. This is what professional photographers have been dreaming of for years. It allows you to capture moving objects with perfect accuracy. No more leaning buildings. No more distorted propellers, just perfect images every single time. To make this work, you need a powerful brain. You need a fast processor. This is where the rumored X-Speed 8 chip comes in. 
This chip is expected to be a monster. It will likely have double the AI processing power of the old chip. We are talking about a camera that does not just track eyes. It does not just follow a subject. It predicts movement before it even happens. It uses deep learning to understand where the subject is going. This is vital for wildlife and sports. If a bird takes flight, the camera already knows. If a racer turns a corner, the camera is ready. This is no longer just a camera. It is a high-speed computer. It is a computer that happens to take world-class photos. The shift from the Xpeed 7 to the Xpeed 8 is huge. It will change your hit rate. It will make your autofocus more reliable than ever. Professionals working at the highest level need this. They cannot afford to miss a single frame. When you are shooting the Olympics, you only get one chance. When you are in the wild, the animal might only appear for a second. The Z9 Mark II is designed to make sure you never miss that moment. It is being built for the toughest jobs on Earth. It is being built for people who demand perfection. This is why the excitement is so high. This is why everyone is watching Nikon right now. They are about to set a new standard for the entire industry. Nikon is not just building a camera. They are building an ecosystem. They are looking at the next five years of imaging. They are planning ahead. They are thinking about how photographers and filmmakers work together. The Z9 Mark II is the crown jewel of this plan. It is the center of their new world. With the integration of red technology, the lines are blurring. The gap between a photo camera and a cinema camera is closing. Nikon is standing right in the middle of that gap. They are claiming the high ground. They want to be the gold standard for every professional on the planet. This is a very exciting time to be a creator. The tools are getting better. The technology is getting smarter. And the Nikon Z9 Mark II is leading the way. Asterisk, the Z9 was not a safe product when it launched. Nikon made a bold decision to remove the mechanical shutter completely. At the time, many people called it reckless. They believed professionals would never accept it. But once the camera reached real users, everything changed. The shutterless design did not just work. It delivered consistency and durability at a level few expected. The Z9 did not just survive the risk. It thrived because of it. Now, Nikon is preparing the next step. And according to leaks, this step is massive. The Nikon Z9 II is not a small refinement. It is not an S version or a mild performance bump. Reports coming from supply chains and internal testing suggest a complete rethinking of what a flagship hybrid camera can be. Nikon is not defending its throne. It is preparing to expand it. At the center of this camera is the sensor. The current Z9 sensor is already impressive. Its 45.7 megapixels offer an excellent balance of speed and resolution. But Nikon is testing new paths. One of those paths has the entire industry watching closely. A rumored 61 megapixel stacked CMO sensor. This level of resolution pushes the Z9 II into territory once reserved for medium format cameras. This is not about numbers on paper. 
This is about flexibility in the real world with 61 megapixels, okay? Photographers can shoot fast action and still crop aggressively without losing professional quality. A sports photographer can capture the entire field and later isolate a single moment. A wildlife shooter can frame wider and still pull out extreme detail. Resolution becomes freedom, not limitation. But resolution alone does not win battles. Speed matters. Read out speed matters. And distortion control matters more than ever. This is why the most explosive rumor surrounding the Z9II is the possibility of a global shutter, or something very close to it. If Nikon manages to deliver global shutter performance at flagship resolution, the impact will be enormous. A true global shutter means no rolling shutter distortion. Lines stay straight. Fast motion stays natural. Flash synchronization works at any shutter speed. This is the kind of performance professionals dream about. Sony has already proven the concept at lower resolutions. Nikon is now under pressure to deliver it at the highest level. Driving all of this power is a new processor. Often referred to in leaks as the Xpeed 8, this chip is rumored to have dramatically increased AI processing capability. This is not just about faster calculations, it is about smarter decisions. Autofocus no longer simply reacts. It predicts. The camera analyzes movement patterns. It anticipates where a subject will be next. Eyes remain locked even in chaotic scenes. Focus does not hesitate when subjects change direction. This kind of predictive autofocus could redefine hit rates for sports, wildlife, and action photography. The camera becomes an extension of the photographer's intent. For filmmakers, this is where the story becomes even more serious. Nikon's acquisition of Red Digital Cinema was not symbolic. It was strategic. Since that announcement, the industry has been waiting for the first true hybrid camera to inherit red DNA, according to multiple sources. The Z9 II is that camera. There is growing speculation around internal red raw recording. The idea of capturing our 3D files inside a weather-sealed mirrorless body is almost unthinkable. But if Nikon pulls this off, the line between cinema and still cameras begins to disappear. Red's color science, dynamic range, and compression methods would bring a cinematic look directly into the hands of hybrid creators. The video specifications being discussed sound almost unreal. 8K recording at up to 120 frames per second. High dynamic range. Professional codecs. All inside a body built to survive extreme environments. This is why some are already calling the Z9 to the most powerful hybrid camera ever conceived. So why has it not launched yet? Early expectations pointed toward a release tied to the 2026 Winter Olympics. But recent reports suggest a delay. Not because of problems. Because of precision. Nikon is reportedly refining content authentication systems. Hardware level verification that proves an image is real and untouched by AI manipulation. In a world flooded with deep fakes, this matters deeply. Photojournalism depends on trust. Nikon wants the Z9 II to become the gold standard for authenticity. 
This is not about speed to market. It is about long-term credibility. The physical design is also evolving. The Z9 was famously rugged. The Z9 II is expected to go even further. A new magnesium-lithium alloy could reduce weight while increasing strength.